anatomy. Defined as the study of structure of human body, it is a key to practice medicine and other areas of health. Anatomy really helps with all aspects of medicine. The urge to understand human anatomy and how the body works is as old as civilization itself. A UK health research analysis report claims that in 2018, 8.6 billion pounds was granted to more than 22,000 projects for health research and medicines. Although there are many contributors to the field of medical science and the study of human anatomy, the contribution of whole body donation is unparalleled. Our donors are amazing because they feel and they are giving something back. They're helping future doctors, they're helping future patients. I am Amok George and I'm trying to understand how whole body donation helps anatomy researchers and students understand human body and health better in this story of Bodies to Science. During my journey, I'll be meeting and talking to a medical student at Cardiff University, a professor and anatomy researcher from the University of Sussex, and whole body donors themselves from India, to try and understand why people pledge their bodies to science and how it helps researchers and students to learn medicine better. The three major ways in which a donated body is utilized are anatomical examinations, research, and education and training. The Human Tissue Authority, which is a regulatory body that deals with the donation, usage and storage of human bodies, states that donating body is a valuable gift for healthcare professionals or for research. But to understand what exactly a whole body donation is, I have come to the University of Sussex to meet Professor Claire Smith. Professor Clare is the Head of Anatomy at Brighton and Sussex Medical School at the University of Sussex and also the author of the book Silent Teachers, The Gift of Body Donation. So Professor Clare, tell me what is body donation and what is its significance in a medical school? Body donation is about a consenting individual um, whilst they're alive, um, whilst they have all of their ability to make a decision, to write and sign to say that they are giving their body in their death um, over to, to a medical establishment. Significance is, is massive. We know that one single body donation can impact the lives of 10 million patients. So one single donor will go to train hundreds of junior doctors, maybe nurses, physiotherapists, and over the course of their professional career, they will see millions of patients. How does working on an actual human body better or more beneficial than having a piece of simulator? All the textbooks and all the computer systems, they do it to a normal. When you get in and you actually explore that, that individual, you find that arteries and veins and nerves are different. There are differences between all of us and this is what surgeons and doctors encounter in real life. So having that kind of simulation or experience is just much closer to real life. While chatting, Professor Smith told me that people who wish to donate bodies face not one but several roadblocks and challenges like descent from family and more. So before I go to explore on how whole body donation is perceived by students, I wanted to find out what goes in the mind of a body donor and what challenges they face while deciding to donate bodies. For weeks, I tried contacting various medical schools in UK to find body donors willing to talk to me. But because of the privacy regulations in place, even after trying my best, I was unable to find any. So with the help of a few friends, I contacted the medical school back in my hometown in India and got in touch with body donors willing to talk to me. With a laptop and a stable internet connection, I am travelling four and a half hours ahead virtually to India to find my answers. In India, I met Mrs. Mahananda, a homemaker, and Mr. Manohar, a teacher in rural India, 
who told me about the challenges they had in convincing their families and the society at large about their decision individual to kuch nahi lete hu main with uh, my husband permission kuch nahi karta hu Un- unko pehle first pucha tha main apne parents ko unke parents ko pucha wo thoda sa ye kar rahe the means nahi dena chahiye aisa ಬಾಡಿ ಡೊನೇಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಂದ್ರೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಸರಳವಾದಂಥದ್ದಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರತೀಯ ಒಂದು ಹಿಂದೂ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಭೂಮಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೂಳಿದರೆ ಸ್ವರ್ಗಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮಂತ್ರ ಎಷ್ಟು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ವರ್ಗ ಸಿಗ್ತದೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದು ಗಾಳಿ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಏನೊಂದು ಒಳೆಯಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತದೆ ದೆವ್ವ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅದು ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಕತೆಗಳಿದ್ದಾವೆ ಪತ್ತ ಚಲ್ತಾಯಿಟ್ वो क्या आते नहीं देखते नहीं हमने बचपन से देखा है मैंने जब छोटी थी तब जब भी वो वन ईयर को वन ईयर को करते हैं ना पुण्य स्मरण करके तो वो तब लोग ज़्यादा करते थे जैसे 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 हो रहा है हमारे एज तक बहुत कम हो गए कोई जा रहे भी नहीं याद भी नहीं करते हैं एक तो और कितने ग्रेवियड्स ऐसे हैं कि उसके ऊपर अब मल्टी स्टोरी बिल्डिंग्स बन गए यूजलेस ही हो गए ना हमारा बॉडी वो कुछ फ़ायदा भी नहीं हुआ ना उसका ನಾನು ಎರಡು ಸಾವಿರ ಹದಿಮೂರು ಮತ್ತು ಹದಿನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಲೆವೆಲು ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ಟೆಂಪರ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಗುಲ್ಬರ್ಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಮಿನಾರ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೌಢ್ಯತೆ ಹೇಗಿದೆ ಮೌಢ್ಯತೆಯಿಂದ ಜನರನ್ನು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಶೋಷಣೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಹೇಗೆ ನಾವು ತಡೆಗಟ್ಟಬಹುದು ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲಿಯಾಗಿನೂ ಕೂಡ ಸ್ಥಳಗಳನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸಿದರು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಇದೆ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಒಂದು ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಇದೆ ಗುಲ್ಬರ್ಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಆ ಬಾಡಿಗಳು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಮನುಷ್ಯನ ಬಾಡಿಗಳು ಕೂಡ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ತೋರಿಸಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಹತ್ತು ಹದಿನೈದು ಬಾಡಿಗಳು ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ ಆಗಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಮತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಪೂರ್ತಿಯಾಗಿ ಬಾಡಿಗಳು ಪೀಸ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಅವು ತೆಗೆದು ಸಣ್ಣ ಸಣ್ಣ ಬಾಕ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರು ಇದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಂತರದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರ ಮೇಲಿನ ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಆಯಿತು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಡೊನೇಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅದು ಲಾಭನೋ ನಷ್ಟ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ ಬಂದಿರೋದು ಲಾಭನೇ ಏಕ ದೋ ತಿನ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಎ ಕರ್ತೆ ಕಿ ಹಮಕೋ ಬಾಡಿ ಏಕಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೇ ಪೂರೆ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಮ್ ಎ ಕರ್ತೆ ಕಮ್ ಹೈ ಹಮಕೋ ಬಾಡಿ ಡೊನೇಷನ್ ನೈ ಹೋತ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಮೇ ಇಸಲೇ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನೈ ಹೋತ ಹಮಕೋ ಏಕಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಪೇ ಸತ್ರ ಅಠರ ಲೋಕ ಬೀಸ್ ಲೋಕ ಎ ಕರ್ಕೆ ದೇಖತೆ ಮನೆ ಕಾ ತೋ ಎ ಜೋ ಕೋಯಿ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ ನೈ ಕರ್ತೆ ಐಸೆ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ನೈ ಲೇತೆ ಕ್ಯ तो वो ऐसा रूल्स नहीं है नहीं ले सकते अपने आप आके कोई अप्रोच हुआ तो डोनेट करे तो उनका ये कर सकते ले सकते हैं इस तरह से वो बच्चों ने ऐसा कहने कहने से मैंने डिसाइड कर लिया कि मैं कर दूँगी तो ये तो यूज़फुल होगा ना उनको बच्चों को भी ऐसे मेरे तरफ मेरे जैसे ही और एक चार लोग देंगे तो जितना हुआ उतना बॉडीज मिलेंगे तो उनको भी स्टडीज़ के लिए ईजी हो जाएगा ज़्यादा तो ज़्यादा स्टडी कर पाएंगे एक एक बच्चे को कम से कम कम हो गए चार बच्चे भी एक बॉडी से कम गए तो उनको ज़्यादा डिसेक्शन करने को मिलेगा ये सोचकर मैंने डिसाइड किया नोड़ी कनिष्ठ इपत जन मेडिकल स्टूडेंट कनिष्ठ वो बॉडी सिगदेर और पिपूर्ण डॉक्टर आगे साध्य जन अली बंत शव अली को ನಾವೇ ಸ್ವತಃ ಕೊಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅದು ನಮಗೂ ಇನ್ನಷ್ಟು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಬಾಡಿ ಒಳಗೂ ಏನಿದೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೋರಿಗೆ ಸಹಾಯ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ನಾವು ಭೂಮಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೂಳೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಏನು ಅರ್ಥ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಹಾಂ ಮನುಷ್ಯನಿಗೆ ಇರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಭೂಮಿ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬೆಳೀಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಭೂಮಿ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ನು ಇದನ್ನು ಇಟ್ಟು ಏನು ಮಾಡೋದಿದೆ ಒಂದು ಸರಿ ಮಣ್ಣಲ್ಲಿ ಮಣ್ಣಾಗಿ ಹೋಗ್ತದೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಕೊಡೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಅದು ಲಾಭನೇ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ನಷ್ಟ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ ಬಂತು Although both our body donors selflessly fought hard battles to stick to and stand by their decisions the reason they decided to donate their body was largely to help facilitate the education of students and budding surgeons but how do students react to cadavers while you and i have learned about the selfless act of donating body it is the students that benefit the most from this noble act
we learn anatomy through uh, dissection and prosection normally. Um, and the students, certainly myself, um, we much prefer the hands-on, the real, uh, the real learning that we can have from a from a donor, than the um, the concepts from a uh, I don't know an information an informational um, lecture or PowerPoint. It's a, a a massive privilege to be able to um, see these donors and to learn from them. For the students, it is unparalleled. There there isn't anything really that can teach you the confidence and the competence um, of anatomy like learning through uh, a donor. But you find everything just clicks into place. You see that, that this is related to this in that respect and um, that is why you maybe carry out an examination on this part of the body in a particular way. It all makes sense when you see the body and the way it's put together. It can be a very scary thing to put your hand on a patient or to uh, palpate or, or feel um, a patient and certainly to to have the, the knowledge to make an incision in a patient's skin um, there, there's nothing nothing that can prepare you like making an incision in the skin I am incredibly grateful and incredibly thankful of the body donors I think all students have come to appreciate just how important they are um, and that at Cardiff University especially the learning of anatomy would be so bare without uh, real real experiences learning from a person um, and I can I can appreciate now I think more than ever that, that it is such a, a brave decision to say while living that after you die you want your body to go to some place that you don't know to be in the hands of some people that you will never meet um, and to be uh, changed for their learning for them to um, make incisions into your skin to see your organs to appreciate the anatomy it is it, such a brave thing to do i think mostly because it's impossible for anyone to predict what could happen to their body. And that unknown that comes with death is immense. But to then say, actually, I want there to be an extra, an extra level where I want someone else to be in control of what's left behind when I go. It's, yeah, it's, it's unbelievably brave. My journey began with a simple question. How can a human that has stopped living be any helpful. Now, not only did I find an answer, I even learned that they are considered to be teachers working silently for a greater good of whole mankind. Body donation is not just about one's contribution to medicine. It, in its own way, is a path towards immortality. One that cannot be guided towards but only unearthed by self-actualization. In a world full of people seeking validation, what other better way than to give not just your whole life, but even death to save millions and millions after that? I am Amok George, and I leave you with the thought of not life, not death, but life after death. Until next time. <laughs>